let's continue with the dom now this will be our part 1 section inside that we are going to see third topic dom hierarchy and what is document so in this basically we are going to understand the structure of dom and also we will see what is document and why we have to use this document and what is the purpose of using document so first i have written basic html code inside that i have given this html head tag body tag and inside that i am having some headings paragraph form and one button and this was the output and also i have opened the console now what this dom will be doing it is going to map our html into a proper structure if we are having family tree in that we will have grandparents parents then children in the same way dom will be displaying our html content html elements into a structure everywhere we will have some structure to follow that so in the same way html will be also arranged in structure previously as i mentioned windows is the king of this document so window will be at top level so our window is the king inside this as soon as i write windows inside this i will be having multiple properties multiple method and also we have seen whenever i open a new tab for this i will be having a separate window instance now whatever i have written here that i will not be able to access here so now whatever output i am having for this tab i am having separate window same window i cannot access inside this tab so both will be different inside windows we are having multiple properties and methods now suppose if i just want to find the inner width previously we have already seen about this directly i can just write inner width i will be getting the result and also in the same way i can just write window dot inner width i will be getting the same result you can either write like this or you can write like this to get the result so inside windows we have one main object that is our document so document is nothing but it is an object which will also be having properties and methods now if i just write here window inside this window you can see our main object is document this is a document and when i open this inside this document we are having all the properties and methods now directly if i just write here document enter now when i open this you can see only the html content whatever i have written for this code that will be displayed for me it is not going to display any properties or it is not going to display me any method so to get that we can simply write console.diff and inside this we can just give a document i will enter now when i open this all the properties and methods will be displayed so you will be having a question why while using this div we are getting this data but while giving the document we are getting our html content so when we write console.log it is going to give the result as a string whatever data we want to log that data it will return us and that will be the default behavior so when we use this console.diff what happens it will be taking object as its input and it will be printing the data in json like tree so json you would have already heard so if you are not aware of json no problem i have already uploaded the video on json if you want you can refer that one so console log will be displaying the data as a string but this div will be displaying the data in json format so to know what properties and methods available inside the document we can use console.diff and in the same way if you just write here document window dot document you will be getting the same html structure you can see even if you write document or window dot document you will be getting the same result so this is not only the document we have many more things inside the document okay so you should not get confused inside document we are having only this html 
not it is not like that inside document we have all these properties and methods okay document is way behind our thinking so this is the code i have written so inside structure first thing we will have is a document before document we will have window window will be the top layer inside this document first we are going to write this html see so this html first we are having this html inside html we are having two children this is one child and this body is the second child so head and body will come inside html and html will be treated as root element so inside this structure html is the root element because from here only all our html code will be starting inside this head tag we have title and we have link so we have title we have link inside body this is the first child this is the second child and this button is the third child so totally three child we are having inside body we have div we have form and we have button inside div we have h1 and paragraph inside form we have input field and also these are the attributes so this action will be coming inside the form and type will be coming inside the input field and finally we have button and for button we do not have any children so in the same way for title and link also we do not have any children this will be the structure of a html code first we will have windows that will be the king so if you don't mention so whenever we write this structure usually we do not mention windows directly we start from document document will be coming from windows inside document we are having html that will be the root that will be the entry point for our html code inside that accordingly we are just going to display their children this will be the dom structure and this is the hierarchy dom is going to follow accordingly if you are increasing the code if you are writing multiple elements inside html accordingly this document will be updated and we will be getting the desired result now if i just want to access body i cannot write body i will be getting this result body is not defined window is present inside document as document is very special object we can directly access only writing document but body is present inside document so we can write like this window dot document dot body i will be getting the result when i open all body content will be displayed but as i told you to access document we do not have to write windows but to access properties available inside the document first we have to access document so here i will be writing document document dot body enter i will be getting the result now inside my website i am having forms so we are having one forms as well and it is going to give me html collection and when i open this i am having length as 1 which means i am having one form inside my structure so this is how we are going to access html elements using this document and document is nothing but it is just an object and it is the special object inside windows and that can be accessed only writing document keyword without using window keyword and also we have understood previously dom will be provided by the browser and every new tab will be having different window instance now whatever i have accessed inside this tab i cannot access inside this tab i'll open console i will come here now whatever data i am having inside this tab i can access only that document dot body enter now when i open this for this particular tab whatever data is used that data will be displayed but for this one whatever code i have written inside html that will be displayed 
so different browser will be having separate window instance and one tab cannot access the other tab so this was the structure of dom we are going to follow the hierarchy and accordingly we are going to display the result so we should always follow this hierarchy access the elements inside html to change the content to change the stylings whatever it is we have to follow the structure and accordingly we can access the elements that's all for this session next session we are going to understand more about dom